Remainers have been issued a warning over their plot to derail Boris Johnson's Brexit plans to deliver the UK's exit from the EU. Within the withdrawal agreement agreed between the UK and EU, a segment named the North Erton Island Protocol was included to stop the creation of a hard border on the island of Ireland, as well as stopping the creation of the border. The protocol was also created to allow the UK to leave the EU as a whole. Crucially Boris Johnson declared there will be no checks on goods going between Northern Ireland and Great Britain. In order to implement this, the specialised committee on the protocol was created and met for the second time today, commenting on the implementation of the protocol in order to maintain the Good Friday Agreement. Public policy editor at the Financial Times, Peter Foster warned Remainers to be wary of celebrating Mr Johnson's Brexit deal collapsing as checks would now be needed despite his previous claim. He's made the comment in reference to Shadow Northern Ireland Secretary, Louise Haig who critics the alleged lack of detail in protocol. The Financial Times editor said, those Ramon are broad term, but you know what I mean types who want to rub Mr Johnson's nose in his failed deal need to think very carefully about the costs of the protocol falling over. We just spent three years trying to get to this point. The note of political point scoring. Almost triumphalism here from Louise Haig needs to be set again a reminder about what the protocol is trying to achieve. So let's wait and see if the NIGB exit declarations issue can be resolved. He did also criticize the European Research Group for their demand to rewrite the withdrawal agreement. Senior Brexiteers within the group warned the Prime Minister key parts of his withdrawal agreement with the EU should be replaced. In a 120-page letter, they declared exiting the transition period agreed with the withdrawal agreement would lead to devastating concurrences. Under the protocol, Northern Ireland remains part of the UK customs territory and can benefit from any post-Brexit trade deal signed by Great Britain. In order to stop the creation of a border on the island of Ireland, the region is also included in a EU QTAMS code. Brussels has also insisted checks will be needed on good entering Northern Ireland despite Mr Johnson's previous claim. MPs on the Northern Ireland Affairs Committee have stated the agreement does not properly explain how there can be tariff-free trade from Great Britain to Northern Ireland under this protocol. The committee concluded, the UK's approach depends on the EU granting waivers from export declarations and exit summary declarations. While the government's interpretation is desirable, it is ultimately a matter for the EU whether it grants that concession. Overall, the protocol will require the EU to waive certain checks although this has not been guaranteed. Chair of the committee, Simon Hoare said, the government may be able to wait until the wire for clarity on customs arrangements, but business cannot. Those trailing across the Irish Sea have been told to prepare without knowing what to prepare for. It's now time for them to get that clarity, and they must have it by the 1st of October.